Okay, we have a little side project. Christine's Jeep tends to go dead. Got a parasitic straw in the battery. I got some new, they don't look like battery connectors in there, but there's battery connectors in there. I have a dead phone, so we're using the no-go here. There is the battery, the offending battery. First one I want to get rid of. I'm not worried about this one or this one. Cables would be great. What I gotta do, pop these off and get to this one. We'll see why in a second. I need it anchored and held down tight. So I don't have a cable cutter. I do have a hacksaw. Oop, yep, don't uh reason I didn't take it out of the sheeting or anything else is I wanted the cable ends held together but it works I'll do the same thing here don't hit the terminal she will work saw saw now knife so all I'm doing here is cutting the sheeting back Of course I'm cutting at myself. That's the safest way to do it. I mean, chicks love scars. Christine loves it when I have to. What the hell? I lost my light. Why did I lose my light? There we go. Can I give myself some more room here? seen these on Amazon and I thought, you know what, I gotta try these. I like the idea of them for a couple of reasons. And I'll show you why in a bit. Okay, I'll be right back here. Yeah, I'm not gonna throw any of those. Oh, just yet. Went and grabbed the 916th and I didn't need it. Well, I'll just have to work with the limited light from the Camarilla. So here's why I like this. Okay, just like a bicycle. Simple, simple. And you're clamped on. I will, in time, solder these ends, or at least coat them in a dye. We're not in a problem, so I got to worry about it as much, though. So. Well, hello there. Why are you here? Okay. So now here's why I like it. I like these. The ends are way, way, way too big for what I'm doing. Can't help that. <laughs> Must be that that battery is just dead. No, I did. 
good. This was my main, the one I took off was the, not the right one. You got your main lead. Not the main lead, the main lead. I messed up. That's supposed to go there. And I got another connector for this one so it goes off one of these side terminals. These are two extra terminals. So you can screw on or, or, or use the machine nuts to lock in extra lines. Um, I don't think I had another positive. Oh, I did have a positive laser out of here. Not there. Now let's get this one going here now. Come on, tripod, let's spread your legs. I think you can see. Shine in there, eating the eyeballs. Yeah, go right there. And I can quickly take this, turn that, not get a half inch wrench on there. So there we go. And that quick to change over. Making sure I don't have out the Allen wrench on the crossbar. Now, it may not start because I put the wrong leads in there. But, we're gonna hook up the cables. And we're gonna see what she does. Doesn't make for better hooking up. I can guarantee you that. It does give you that little side stud though, and it says the battery's got 10 volts in it. So we're going to shut that off, disconnect that one, turn you on, we're going to set it to boost. It already was on boost though, but it's going to kick it now. Take the hackers off. should be you can tighten that up which will pinch this in tighter you got two allen head machine bolts there so you can loosen this off here take the plate off put your battery cable in there put the two screws back in tighten it back down heavier gauge cable it's not going to fit real easy you have accessories accessories accessory if you're desperate so I've got a winch on the red Jeep outside, and I put the winch on one, and then I have a ground on the negative out, out there. There was a ground for something, and it was on, so I put it on the other side. And I goofed, because I put the, the winch 
I cut the cable on the winch, so I stuck it in there. And then I put the actual ground from the motor here. I gotta fix that. There's the negative, there's the positive, there's a dirty bench, at least you see it's got work on it. And like I said, the ends you need, I just bought a kit. So I've got all different sizes, different holes, different everything. Uh, and then I can, on the cables, I will solder these on for a positive connection. And then they give you shrink wrap. Don't know if it's the good shrink wrap or the shit shrink shrink wrap. So then once you're done, you shrink wrap it. Red on the red, black on the black, blah, blah, blah. Easy, easy stuff. Like this, is, this is really, really simple stuff. Um, I wouldn't say these are marine grade. But I would say that anybody on a sailboat, like pointing at you over there, Dave, you could you probably use these on your sailboat. Um, if you're using lead acid for powering inside the sailboat on a terminal, not a screw, not a screw down terminal, but an actual stud terminal like this, then you could really use these. They, they weren't super expensive, but I mean, if you don't have to replace yours, don't. Stick with the stuff that is working when you got to replace it. These were like uh, 20 bucks a piece, I think, for the pair. But I, I really like the the, uh, the cam lock thing here. That's what sold me on it. Because the, the one Jeep out there has got a parasitic draw. So when the Jeep is sitting there not being driven for a couple days, you come back to her and she is stone dead. No lights, no nothing stone dead so it got these it's gonna get a couple of these on the especially on the you know the one i messed up yeah i said it i messed it up so i'm just gonna stick them now back into the, the bag i ran through the grease and the oil over here It comes with an Allen wrench. There are different sets. This is a five millimeter Allen wrench. If you solder your ends in and don't crimp them, you will have a better connection. Then later on, if you find that your solder is uh, breaking free and you have a crimper, crimp them. You got a double shot at her and saving it twice.